In this video, we're going to take our fully fine-tuned summarization model, BART, and then we're going to fine-tune it some more using PEFT. And I want to show two things. One, that PEFT, parameter efficient fine-tuning, actually works. And two, that it's a whole lot faster than full fine-tuning. And you'll see that there's about a 33% uh, reduction in, in time to train. And so first and foremost, let's go ahead and install all of our packages. So everything's installed. I'm then gonna load in our model that we fine-tuned. All right, so it took a second to load in the model, but we've got it now. Let's load in our data set. So everything's loaded. As you can see, we're loading the Samsung data set. It's got a train validation and test set, just like before. Uh, we're going to prepare our data set for training the same way we did before. And so now that our data set is created, let's go ahead and check the shape. Remember, we're, we're grabbing every hundredth example to create a smaller data set and here we have 148 examples in our training set and so now let's create our PEFT model and so I want to pause right here so we're going to be using LoRa as our parameter efficient fine-tuning technique without going into too much depth too much depth here and explaining these parameters this number right here is the rank and it's the rank of the matrices that are used in LoRa and if you're not sure what rank is, we do have videos on linear algebra that explain rank, so definitely check those out. Um, these are some other parameters, and here we're going to tell Laura that this is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model that we're going to be using PEFT on. PEFT is a library that was created by Hugging Face. And now to create a PEFT model, what we do is we get our... Um, model in our LoRa config and then we create it using the get PEFT model function from the PEFT library. And so let's do that and it may take a second but here we are and now what we're going to do is we're going to connect to Hugging Face so that we can push our PEFT model to the hub. So I'm going to go get my access token like before and log in. The token is valid. Great. And the PEFT the PEF training arguments in trainer operates the same as the trainer that we used without PEF. I just labeled it PEF training args and PEF trainer just to know that this we're using PEF. And we stand, we what we did right here is I set the directory in Hugging Face to be uh, Bart CNN Samsung PEF instead of Bart CNN Samsung Fine Tuned. And so just so I know that it's PEF. And what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate everything. If you notice, we're going to train it for five epochs. You may have to do a little bit more than that to be able to see the results that I saw, but nonetheless, give it some time. PEFT takes less time per epoch because if you notice, when we print out the trainable parameters, we're only training 1.14%, roughly 1% of the total parameters of the model. And so each epoch is not going to take three minutes. In my case, it took around two minutes. And so I've already trained this, I'm not going to run it again, but after you have created your PEFT model, or after you trained it, you can now push it to the hub. If I go to my profile and go to my models here, your PEFT model, when you push your PEFT model to the hub, you're not pushing the full model. All you're pushing is the PEFT adapter. You can literally think of it, and this will get you pretty far, as uh, a, an adapter that you plug in to your plug on top of your model that's been trained and fine-tuned to your data. And so what you're going to do whenever you push whenever you push to the hub and then you want to pull it back down, what you're going to do is you're going to pull your base model, which our base model was our fine-tuned model. And then we're going to load in that base model and then we're going to attach the PEFT adapter as you can see right here, it has the adapter model and adapter config. We're going to put the adapter onto the model by calling PEFT model dot from pre trained from the PEFT library. And then we're going to load that model in. And let's generate a summary using my PEFT model. And so it's going to be on the same dialogue and summary that we've been using before so that we can sort of see how it's learning in more detail. And as you can see, it says Hannah asked Amanda if she has Betty's number. Amanda can't find it, so she asked Larry to call her. That doesn't happen, so the model is still getting this part wrong, right? So maybe we need to go further and do some more parameter-efficient fine-tuning, train it for some more epochs. I did uh, five in my case. And the end right here says, Hannah is going to text Larry to ask him to call Betty. Now, here's the thing. Last time it said Amanda is going to text Larry. And 
and now it's saying Hannah is going to text Larry. The model has learned that Hannah is the person that's going to be texting Larry, not Amanda. So it has made an improvement and that verifies it. It's still not quite at the quality of the ground truth summary, but it's getting better and it's learning slowly. But as you can see, PEFT is a lot faster. We can train for more epochs and that improves our training process quite a bit. And so play with this, train for more epochs um, and definitely learn more about PEFT. You can read the documentation on Hugging Face. And now let's hop into the next video.